Did you know that a seemingly harmless activity like gardening or hiking in certain regions could expose you to a potentially dangerous fungus? Imagine, the very soil that nurtures life can also harbor hidden threats. Today, we delve into the world of coccidioids, a fungus that causes an infection known as valley fever. This fungus thrives in the arid soils of the southwestern United States, Mexico, Central and South America. But what makes coccidioids particularly menacing is not just its habitat, but its ability to spread through the air. When soil containing coccidioid spores is disturbed, the spores become airborne and can be inhaled. This is the primary mode of transmission, making activities like construction, farming, or even a simple walk in these regions a risk factor. Less commonly, it can also spread through intimate physical contact from person to person. The symptoms of coccidioids infection vary widely. Many people infected with the fungus do not experience any symptoms at all, silently carrying the spores. Others develop mild symptoms, often referred to as valley fever, which include fever, cough, chest pain, fatigue, muscle aches, headaches, nausea and vomiting. However, the infection can escalate to more severe forms, including pneumonia, pleuritis, skin inflammation, joint inflammation, and in critical cases, it can affect the bones, brain, and even lead to meningitis. In rare instances, this infection can be fatal. Scene script. Certain groups are at higher risk, particularly those living or working in areas where coccidioids is common. This includes people with weakened immune systems, Native Americans, and individuals of Filipino descent. Knowing who is most at risk helps in early diagnosis and effective management of the condition. Speaking of diagnosis, it typically involves blood tests to detect antibodies against coccidioids, skin tests to check for allergic reactions, chest x-rays and in some cases examining lung fluid or tissue samples. Treatment varies based on the severity of the infection. Mild cases often resolve without treatment over a few weeks. However, severe cases require antifungal medications like fluconazole, itraconazole or voriconazole. Those with advanced infections might need hospitalization and intravenous antifungal treatments. Preventing coccidioids infection centers on avoiding exposure to dusty environments in endemic areas, wearing masks during outdoor activities and consulting with healthcare providers about preventive medications can also be crucial for those with compromised immune systems. In conclusion, while the soil can bring life, it can also bring hidden dangers like coccidioids. Awareness is the first step toward prevention. By understanding how it spreads, recognizing the symptoms and knowing the treatment options, individuals can better protect themselves and their loved ones from the risks posed by this formidable fungus. Remember, Staying informed is staying safe.